Okay, so as you can see, I've got sample graphic open in Illustrator here. I'm going to go ahead and the very first thing we're going to do is save as. Saving it into the same folder and it's pretty easy. 211108 is today's date code emoji one and put your name on this from now on so that each graphic now has who drew it right in the name. Once you've saved that, we can actually do some recoloring of the artwork very, very easily. Instead of going in and changing each of these colors to what we need, we can select. I'm holding down shift. We'll go in between two. So if I click here and here, it selects them all. We don't really need the X and the yellow circle. If I change that, I'm actually going to change the fill. This is one of the many places because the pupil of the eye is going to be black. So let's actually rename these to make it a little easier. We'll call the red one face the green one eye and this is going to be the iris and what was the yellow circle now a solid black is the pupil of the eye so let's go ahead and make changes to this one holding down control this one and this one but using edit edit colors we get to the recolor artwork option and it has the colors of the things that we've selected now I can change the red face to a yellow face fairly easily, but notice that the others change because they're actually linked to this one. Let's break that link, allowing us to change the blue eye to white. And then we can choose a color for the iris. Let's move that aside right there. Now, lighter colors are gonna work better for some of the effects that we're gonna do. So pick a nice bright color of some sort. You can always change it later. As you can see, it's fairly easy to do that. So I've got the yellow face, the whites of the eye, and the green iris. Once we've done that, we're going to resize these so it looks more like an eye. I can, again, using the target makes it very easy to select the pupil, the iris, and the eye, and leave the face the same size. Grabbing a corner, you can see that it would change the shape of it. Let's go ahead and keep it round. And it doesn't really matter if it goes towards the center or not because we're going to move it. Holding down the Alt button, we'll keep it centered there. So having this black arrow now allows us to reposition it about where an eye would go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and make some slight adjustments. This pupil actually looks a little bit large. Shift, Alt, and bring it down a little bit. And maybe the iris too, so we've got more of the whites of the eye. So that part is up to you as well. So we're actually going to do some uh, changing of the shape of the eye just so that we can learn how to do that. Uh, you may decide to go back and have round eyes, but this is starting to give us the face of our emoji.